Hi, welcome. Today we are making a breaded heart on a toddler's head. I have illustrations by the side to help you understand what I am doing in case you miss the angle at any point. To start off, I will make a line from ear to ear. This is going to be the the guide of where the top of my heart can curve so once we are done doing that I am going to put the front section away because I'm not working on that but for the second part I will make a line from the line that went from ear to ear down to the nape of the neck I have mine at the middle of the head because I want the the heart to be seated at the middle of the head if you this line is going to pass across the heart right in the middle so if you want the braided heart to be on one side you have to make this line towards one side of the head next we are going to make one of the curves of the heart as you can see from the red drawing on your right hand side Patting it this way I noticed was just easier for me so I cut off the top section where the part that is not supposed to be included in the braid and just put that away and now focused on getting the shape of the heart. You really have to take your time in drawing this because it is kind of a little bit tricky and it will affect how the heart is going to be one point i noticed is to try to make the curve robust but when you get towards the end of the heart the lower part try to make it tapered or else it will not look like a heart. The first time I did it, this pattern you will see in the video, the bottom part was not pointed. Yes, make the tip, the bottom part pointy so your heart will not look like the shape of an apple, like the bottom of an, of an apple fruit. Instead, make it tapered. <laughs> At this point, I hope you understand what I mean, but just keep seeing. If you do not get it perfectly at the first try, you will get better. This is my first try of figuring out how to make a braided hat in a way that I can explain it to beginners like me. And I do not believe this is the best I could have done. Or As you can see, she barely has hair at the back because she is still a baby. So, but because of that, I had to add a little bit of hair extension, not too much, just a little to her hair to help me achieve my goal. So, I am still trying to get that bottom part. As you can see at this point, it was looking like like the bottom of an apple. But now I am trying to make it pointy. That is going to change the game on the heart. It is going to make it not look like an apple or a tomato. <laughs> so now this is the next step. Start from a little bit below the middle of your heart. Just go down a little bit below the middle. Do not start exactly at the middle. I just found out again that your heart is going to look more like you have the tip, the beginning part. It looks nicer if you start this line that we just made a little bit past the middle of the braid. The middle of where your heart is supposed to be. So that line it's like 10 o'clock from the middle. We are going to have two arms running, one to the left, one to the right. This one I am doing now is like making a 10 o'clock hand on a clock from just a little bit below the middle. So once you make that line, you will be able to braid 
this first curve of the heart you can see the line right there in the middle if you put it too high the top of your heart is not going to dip inwards enough and that is not going to make it look nice so you need the top of your heart to dip in so the curve will be more prominent so now we are making the two o'clock hand that line so we have the 10 a.m. and the 2 a.m. hand of the clock remember to start it a little bit below the middle so after that you will be able to braid the hair follow your curves until you get to the bottom depending on your style you can join the two braids or you can just cross one over to the opposite side and the other one to the opposite side but I didn't think of that early enough and just braided it together so I will incorporate the tail of that braid to the braid that will be closest to the heart so for this first one underneath I am just braiding from the back to the front what is left of the heart and because I know her hair is definitely going to loosen up the next day if I don't have hair extensions because her hair is barely it's really she's a kid she's a baby so her hair is not yet very full for oh. You get what I mean so now I am going to incorporate the tail of the heart into this second braid and it was still okay and nice my model decided to fall asleep <laughs> at this point so we didn't stop braiding her hair was even faster when she's asleep if you have a toddler and you can keep them in a comfortable position it is so much easier to braid their hair when they are asleep so much easier I walked a lot faster when she slept off but trying to keep her in that position and the the hair extension touching her skin was kind of uncomfortable so the sleep wasn't long although I tried using the towel to close her body but it was still touching her so over to the second side i will also repeat the same thing having two braids come from the back to the front if you are not subscribed at this point this is a very good time to just go down a little and click the subscribe button remember to turn on the notification bell so that you will be informed every single time i upload a video I am going to look for braided hairstyles and break it down until everybody everybody can make that braided hairstyle so we have started off already with the flower braids I have my very first trial of the flower braid, <laughs> the flower braids up on my channel already that flower was just funny looking and I also have the video of the second flower and it was better so now i'm starting another heart i've drawn a line that is supposed to be the middle of my heart but you can see the shape it i just drew it to face where i want the flower to be and now i am carving out the braid the curved part <coughs> so we are repeating the whole process this is the bottom of the braid which happened to be at her face this time around I'm trying to make it not to look like an apple and just clean out the, the curves take your time until you are comfortable with the curve you have made so my intention my intention wasn't to make like a heart and then another heart enclosing it but I didn't think about it and I just like carved out my heart and followed and braided what's left outside around it and it ended up looking like two hearts or one and a half hearts that was not my intention do not make that mistake if i were you i would just this this braid i am turning over to the front and closed my heart and it it's I didn't like it just braid this over to the 
to my left hand side instead of using it to enclose the heart once it gets to her forehead it falls over to the other side not towards where the heart is and now this is also the second part i am carving out the right hand side of the heart and repeating the other mistake i made i just braided the hair around the heart and it ended up looking like a heart enclosing a heart and that was not my intention because it ended up not looking like a complete heart it was like one and a half heart i didn't like that don't do that unless you want to have like an inner heart and then another one enclosing it like that then you take your time and do the top part well this was not the intention but let's just roll with it my model is awake thank god i am almost done but she didn't cry or fuss around i made the flower braid on her sister and she really liked it so she was so excited for me to make any design on her hair and she was just looking forward to it i was like will you cry no do you cry when you make your hair no she was just excited and of course she loved her design but she kept on touching it and trying to loosen the cord i used in decorating the heart and i just knew that she would not rest she might actually just pull that cord off but it's all right i made her happy so this is my heart the original heart i decided to create not the, the one enclosing it that ruined my design or formed a heart around my design so this heart is smaller i noticed that i have the tendency of making any design so huge and that is not necessary if you can just make your heart little and cute that's also fine so remember our 2 a.m and 10 or just our 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock arms that's i just drew the second one to help you braid around so do that I was thinking in the future right i would pass a little hair just at the tip where i just started braiding now and crochet it into the half part of the heart i have done already so that there will not be space in the middle of the heart i promise you i wasn't yanking her head around it's just because i'm fast forwarding the video it was looking as if i was turning her head around abruptly no i wasn't doing that don't do that so at this point i am incorporating the two tails of the hearts into one braid and just finished off this section i think this section should have been two pattern because that looks so huge but if it was two it would have been so small so and i, I just wanted to be done so that she could go you can see our heart design here it looks so cute well busy body me went to add something at the top just to make it more pronounced i added a cord again this braiding cord or accessory doesn't look like the one that november braid uses i have seen that one and ordered it online and very soon you start seeing it in my videos thank you so much for watching i would love to know if you tried this and how it turned out you can check out my flower braids, the two triers and just some other interesting videos on my channel. Have a nice day.